Resurrection. After Jesus was nailed to the cross, they mocked him and rolled dice for his clothes. Over 600 soldiers, they spat on him. They taunted him. Matthew 27, 40 says, so you can destroy the temple in three days, can you? Well, if you are the son of God, save yourself. Come down from that cross. They didn't believe. He trusted God. He said, I am the son of God. How different are we from they who didn't believe? They taunted Jesus. They spat on him and mocked him. Of course, we weren't there to spit, taunt, and mock Jesus. But how different are we when we don't believe and trust in his presence? How different are we? Not once did Jesus cry to come down from that cross. He hung there, battered, whipped, bruised, thorns hammered into his head for us. He died so that we could be saved. So I ask you, is his death in vain? Is his presence felt in your life? Is God's light or the world leading your, your, your life? Or is society's forces of nature, nature in charge of your life? If there's something you get, if there's this feeling you're getting, or something that's tugging at your heart while you hear these spoken words for you that I've been sent here to deliver. That's God saying, trust me, follow me. I'll guide you. I will show you for you are my child, a child of God. John 16 verse 16 says, in a little while you shall see, ye shall see me no more because I go to the father. In a little while, you shall see me after that, and you will see me again. Jesus is risen. Jesus is risen. Jesus is risen. It won't be long before our Father switches over to his throne of, throne of judgment. What will he say to you? Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior.